What's good today? We're going to be looking at the sliding door track and hardware kit. This comes in 72 and 48 widths. This is a universal kit. It comes with these uh, brackets that you hang on any door. It could be a, a thick door such as this, like a standard closet door. And then the way you would attach this is use the provided hardware to screw it in and you're going to hang it on the rail. Uh, it also comes with adjustable door guides at the very bottom and four hangers. So you need two hangers for every door depending on the thickness of the door. So we're gonna go and attach that there. Then we're gonna put a piece of uh, two by four from here all the way across there. Once you have your rail secured, the next step is attaching the sliding hangers to the doors. You can buy these separately. You're gonna know there's a little number on here, number two, number one. Um, the difference between the two is that there's a bigger lip here so that is so the doors don't touch each other when they're sliding so you're going to use two number ones on one door and then two number twos on the second door when you do attach these to your doors you want to make sure that center to the edge is i think two and a half inches like this right now the reason you want to do that is because you want to have the even support when it's actually hanging if you put this too far inside like this for example then uh when you pull it it's kind of kind of like a jiggle on the rail. So that's why you want to follow the directions and the direction basically tell you to do this. Now this little wheel here is for adjusting, right? So if your floor is uneven, for example, what you can do is you can adjust one of these and it's going to go up and down about a quarter of an inch. You can bring that side down, that side up, depending on whether or not it's actually hitting the ground or not. All right, so once these are in, make sure the guides are all the way retracted. Okay, and then we hang this. When you hang this, you put the door in a 15 degree slant and then you lift it up onto the rail, up, and then pull it forward straight. Uh, the installation time was maybe an hour just because I needed to uh, screw the two by four for the actual rail. So that was the most difficult part is figuring out how high that should be based on the height of my panels here. And those are, those are not doors. These are very thin uh, IKEA panels that I got because I wanted the look um, of just almost like a wall. They also provided you with these finger pulls, so you will need to pre-drill a hole in your door to fit these. You don't necessarily need to have the handles that they provided you with. You could go to another store and buy yourself a different handles. You will need like some sort of a bumper though on one end, so if it does hit, right, it's not gonna go in dent. Very similar to this uh, sliding door truck. So you can see that there is a bumper over here, these little two bumpers, so that way when the door hits it, it just kind of bounces off. So you are gonna to need to sort of figure that out on your own. You can buy these little rubbery things, probably some sort of a dollar store, I don't know. But uh, you probably wanna do that, incorporate that in it. This is a barn door kit that we use to hang this mirror, which is really just a door, right? So, and then the closet that we're adding is right basically in here. And this is how they slide, right? So one and two, and they're not touching. So you do wanna have at least uh, one inch overlay so you don't actually see inside so you can get these rails in different sizes and then you just hack them up to size so it does take a little bit of customization but you can definitely create a very nice sleek clean finished closet so this is the final product now this is a little fast forwarded we've got the side seven inch panels already created here we also opted to have these nice black rectangular mat door handles now our door was hollow so we really just cut this in with an exacto knife and then just glued it with our pl8x and you can see that it's all working pretty nicely uh, we've got two panels here and then then one that kind of goes over top of both of them we didn't end up rerouting that that's okay we are still cutting in uh, and making our shelvings behind here but i want to show you guys the guides so in terms of the guides the way it works is you want to make sure that the guides are installed right at the end of each of your panels right and then the one that's overlapping is also right here so this is about three quarter of a quarter of an inch and you can see that it's also in here and the crazy thing is is that you really just need one there and then it's kind of going to guide itself see so it kind of just guides itself and it's always in here this one this is pan this panel is glued in here so this doesn't move but we needed to have um needed to create 
uh, it there in order for the background to go behind it. So yeah, in your case, if you only have two doors, you may be not needing to do that, but we needed to do that. So there you go, see? And then, then this would reveal this specific showing unit. Oh, and one more thing. I added an MDF at the very top to hide the universal rail, right? So that kind of finishes the look. Just a lot of measuring, but anybody can do this. So I wish you luck on your project. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.